What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Chicago Bears franchise mode. I am very excited to get this going. Um, I went straight to the regular season. Uh, I used current rosters. I didn't uh, use the preseason rosters from before the season started. Uh, so we have up-to-date rosters. Uh, everybody's on the team they should be on. Um, but I do want to let you guys know this series is going to be a little different. I'm opening up the, this episode in the menus. But I think I'm going to start opening up the episodes in the game. Get more gameplay. Just condense the episodes a little bit more. The, the quarter length is going to be seven minutes now. Uh, so that is a lot longer than we're used to. So I'm going to cut up the episodes a little bit different. I'm going to try to keep the integrity of this the, of the series the same. But just know that maybe it's going to be um, a little more edited than the thing that you're used to seeing. The more raw footage where I kind of just cut out the punts and the kicks and stuff. Um, but I'm excited to get going either way. Uh, let's check out what I changed. Uh, a huge change is the sliders. Uh, I changed the sliders. Um, I saw some sliders on OperationSports.com. Flasco True NFL Realism Sliders. Uh, it, it, he is a very popular slider maker. He does a lot of research in what works and what doesn't work and what makes the game interesting and uh, what makes the game fair and unfair. Uh, he puts a ton of time into this stuff. I mean, he tests all these... Uh, sliders over and over again they, they might not be suited for me um so this is going to be a bit of a learning season where i kind of mess with the sliders a little bit but as you can see here's our player skill you guys might not know what any of this means basically the qb accuracy going down to 20 where it started out at 50 is basically making my quarterback less accurate and not every pass is going to make it directly onto the wide receiver as you guys saw last franchise mode every time i threw the ball unless i was on the run even as Blake Bortles, the ball always hit the receiver. Whether the receiver caught it or not, that's a different story. But as you can see, the, the wide receiver catching only went down three, so it's not like they're going to be dropping more balls. Uh, so if the balls get to them, hopefully they catch it. So it. This is to make the game more realistic and not so much like uh, what is happening. Uh, like why didn't he catch that or that pass was perfect when I was under pressure and it maybe shouldn't have been. It's, it's to add more of a wild card. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time in here because I'm going to post the link to all these sliders uh, in the description. It is an operationsports.com post. Uh, I use the purple set. I think it's the secret sauce set. It's the one that he uses, and uh, it's in between all pro and all Madden. Basically, a lot of people feel like all Madden can be unfair at times, and uh, this is in between all pro and all Madden, and trying to make the game more realistic and fun. And the speed threshold is up, so faster players are going to feel faster. Slower players will feel slower. Uh, yada, yada, yada. All that stuff. We might get wrecked uh, because, obviously, as you see, CPU skill is not as much down as it is in player skill. So it makes it harder for me to play and easier for the computer to play. But that's what comes with the sliders. That's what comes with trying to up the difficulty a bit. If we lose uh, more than we did as the Jaguars, I'm okay with that. Like, we have a struggling quarterback in Cutler. I want to I wanna get over that speed hump, as I was talking about, and kind of just, like, rework the face of the franchise and get back on the right track and get the Bears back to where uh, they should be. With uh, As historic as the Bears are, they should be uh, great. Um, as you see here, though, Jordan Howard's only a 70 overall. I'm hoping he gets... I, don't, I mean, I might move him up to at least second string. Uh, but he is five overall points worse than our other running backs, which is kind of surprising because I did the latest roster update, and I, fe I felt like they would have switched him. But uh, we'll at least change him from Joyk Bell. I know Joyk Bell is good. Like, I know he's probably better than Jordan Howard. Uh, I just like the idea of a rookie and uh, building off that rookie. I mean, Jeremy Langford's only a one-year player. This is a sophomore year out of Michigan State, so we can run with Jeremy Langford. And uh, Jordan Howard as the backup. But Joyke Bell, he's just six years in the league. Not that exciting. He's not like a, a burner. He's not super fast. He doesn't break a lot of tackles. So Jeremy Langford's a little faster. So is uh, Howard. And they're just more agile and all that stuff. Just more exciting, really, is what it comes down to. But like I said, future episodes, I will not stay in the menus this long. I will not talk for this long. We're going to be more focused on gameplay, more condensed gameplay, longer quarters, more realistic stats. And uh, like I said, if we don't win every game, 
that's completely fine. I'm all about realism. I'd rather not win every game. Um, it's going to be more difficult than last year for sure. And that's my coach. Uh, as you see in the top right, that is my real name. I'm not doing J Wolves anymore. Uh, I don't know why I shied away from saying my real name so much. There's so many people on the internet that disclose their name. It's not that big of a deal. If you guys, you know, really want to get in my bank account, go ahead. You know, I mean, there's not much in there, but enjoy. Um, uh, but yeah, th that is me. Uh, that That is a, a little chubbier than me. I mean, he's a good looking dude. Don't get me wrong. And he's the only guy with the beard. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Why not? I mean, we got the casual hoodie on. We're looking good, man. We're looking good. All right. So this is our big decision. We set the season, the season goal. Our schedule is looking like Texans, Eagles. Give me one second. They flipped over. Texans, Eagles, Cowboys, Lions, Colts, Jags, Packs, Vikings, by Bucks, Giants, Titans, Niners, Lions, Packers. Um, obviously, a lot of NFC North people. We got, uh, it looks like we're playing the NFC East. We have the, the Eagles and the Giants. Um, okay. All right. I mean, I, I, I'll give us eight or nine wins. I mean, I don't know if we're a playoff team, to be honest. Uh, especially with the new sliders. You think your team is decent, but not expecting to make a deep playoff run. That's perfect. Nine wins. Let's commit to that. I mean, it's it's not ambitious. It's not overly ambitious. It's, it's realistic is what it is. Um, but I'm going to get to training and hop in the game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in there. All right, guys. Here we go. The Texans starting from the 25. We are in the NRG Stadium, the host of the this year's Super Bowl, which is pretty exciting. Hopefully, we see ourselves here later in the season much later and Hicks is in baby just like that just like that putting Brock on his back that's what I like to see let's see if we can send a little bit of a blitz here we're in the all whites looking fresh AF on opening night day I don't even know is this a night game it's in a dome all right McPhee is definitely one of our best players way out wide to Hopkins and he falls right out of bounds no harm no foul all right, third and eight. This is a big down opening drive here. Tensions are high. Oh, and he gets the out route to Fuller. That was a beautiful play and a beautiful pass. First freaking down. Look at me. Look at me over there, baby. Look at me. See, that's another cool thing. I'm actually on the sideline when the last time I was a GM. Wow, Lamar Miller just juked the hell out of Hicks, I think. Um... Yeah, I'm actually on the sideline now. Before I was a GM, which I didn't love. I mean, I didn't. I don't know if I did any of the GM stuff. It just doesn't really excite me. Let's stop the outside run if they do, if they do it. It's an inside run. And it's good enough to refer a first down. Another five yards. They are driving on us right now. All right, come out in the zone. I'm gonna guard Fuller here myself. Oh, well, another run. I mean, why not run? They're getting like five yards of carry, so that was a good stop, though. Two-yard gain. Send a bit of a blitz on the edge. Yeah, McPhee, Farnell. I think Farnell. Farnell? Farnell? Farnell McPhee is one of our best players for sure. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good hit, good hit. All right. Um, it's a third and manageable. Hopefully, we can get a big stop. I mean, the time is going quick, isn't it? It's that runoff, man. The runoff is real. Maybe even longer quarters. I don't know. Oh, I was in with Freeman. That's such a shame. And that's Denard Hopkins. He is taking off and hard to stop, man. I had him blown up on the run, but it was play action and... Hard to stop Hopkins over the middle like that. And he just took off and took away from Tracy Porter. So uh, starting the season down 7 nothing. Strong Houston team, though. So I'm not too sad about it. All right, guys. Here comes Jay Cutler and company. Uh, we got Langford in the backfield, who we are going to right off the bat, running right at J.J. Watt. No Fs given. Langford finds a little gap up the middle. Couple yards there, maybe five, six, six yards. Nice, nice. Um, and yeah, you might hear the commentators in the background. I know they're pretty low. I just don't want them to get mixed up with my own commentary. Uh, I like them there for the atmosphere, though. I think they add a lot to Madden. Wow, that QB accuracy, though. 
Man, those sliders are, are daunting. Holy hell, that guy was wide open and we just threw it in the dirt. Threw it in the dirt, that hurts, man. All right, Miller, Miller's going right to the first down marker. Another, the QB accuracy just threw it right at the cornerback. Gonna have to punt it away here. All right, so here we go, back on defense. I'm a little nervous these sliders might be a little out of my reach. Uh, the QB accuracy slider on the user side really showed itself there. Good D though, very good D. Jumped that route, Fuller had no chance at it. Still two, two and a half minutes left in the quarter, so these longer quarters seem just, just enough, honestly. Man, all right, not so bad. I jumped the gap there and he just kind of went around me. Uh, third and five, we need a stop here. I feel like we had him at a couple third downs last time and uh, they, uh, they kept gaining it. So we're gonna go zones to the inside. Let's see if I can drop back and confuse him. Bro! All right, come on, thank you, thank you. Huge right there. All right, we need the ball back. All right, guys, here we go. Second and seven, third yard pass on first down. Nothing really doing. Um, we have our fullback going out to the right, which I do love this route. If he can get through, he can't get through. Oh, what the hell was that, man? I, 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 I was waiting for him to break through and he never did. So now we're facing another third down and seven. Eddie Royal stopping right at the first down marker. Wilson going across. I'm gonna hit him. Let's go. Let's go. Big catch. Big catch and gain right there. Huge first down. Let's go back to the run game a little bit. Get Langford involved. All right. We need that big block on the fullback right here. Oh, oh. Split the gap a little bit. Nice. Good run. Four yards. Four yards. All right. We're getting our legs back under us. Uh, still the first quarter. So it's like we got some time to work, which I really do like about the longer quarters. Um. Oh no! He jumped that route so well. I did have him on the outside. I just tr I tried to throw it to the left, and it just didn't go left very much. This uh, playbook is very different from what I'm used to, but in a good way. In a good way. Some new plays. Some new looks. Let's get Royal. Doing it right at the uh, first down marker there. He jumped it. Oh, my God. Oh, my. All right. Looks like we have to punt away again. Oh, my Lord. Amazing down right there. For some reason, it says at the nine-yard line. It looks like I downed it at the one. Maybe because I touched it. I touched it to try to stop it. But right there, it looks like I downed it at the one. I don't know. Gave, him to, gave it to him at the nine. Whatever. Still a good punt. Pinned him back a little bit. I feel like they're going to come out in the run here. Let's send a little bit of a blitz. Let's audible this. Yes. Read it perfectly. Read it perfectly, baby. Sit down, Lamar. All right. We got McPhee out wide here. Oh, I tried to jump it. All right. That was a little sketchy. My guy overran that route. And then uh, he had the button press to break the tackle. If he, if he broke that, he would have been off to the races a little bit. That's the thing with that speed threshold. It really separates players. Granted, that dude was a tight end, so our cornerback should catch him. He's got nothing. Nothing. Had to throw away. Great pass defense right there. Third and three, forcing a punt. All right, here we, here we go, here we go. First and 10, we got a crossing route with Royal, fast player. Hopefully he can find some daylight. I threw it right at the linebacker. I wanted to go to Zach Miller, but that linebacker kind of fell off Eddie Royal at like the worst possible time. All right, let's come out and run. We gotta, we gotta get something going here. We are stale right now. See if we can get Zach Miller coming over to block JJ Watt. All right, all right, not a bad run, not a bad run. Got five yards, maybe six, seven, geez. Seven yards, all right, might as well run it again. Langford's feeling it. We got the stretch going to the left. They're stacked a little bit over there. Let's run it right at them, dude. It's Bears football, classic Bears football. Nice run right there. 
down to the 41 yard line first down we got to keep it on the ground i think it, what whatever's working we should do all right let's see here uh i do want to flip this and i'm actually going to get miller coming over to the left we're flipping this totally and trying to run to the left instead of the right and it worked out break it not that way though it's all right it's another good run uh excuse me why is why is the houston coach on the field right there can i get a penalty ref can I get a penalty? Uh, gonna run to the right here. We have our, our, our boy Howard out, the rookie. Oh, the rookie! He has legs. He outran JJ Watt, but they closed on him at the edge there. This isn't college. You can't run up the edge. There's our draft class right there. Pretty cool. Wow, Jordan Howard went late. He went late. He's playing really good IRL right now. Um, okay, and we have our third back in, which is Joyke Bell. The fatigue is setting in on this drive. Third and five. Huge, huge play here. Eddie Royal. There's the speed out of Virginia Tech. Nice first down. Nice first down. Good drive we got going here. Three minutes left in the half. Really liking the pacing of this game. I think it's like not short enough where it's like I'm always panicking to get in the end zone. We kind of can feel it out. It's really nice. Oh, man, there was a hole, and 47 had the lead block. I just I couldn't get out of that. It just collapsed a little too quick. Here we go. Running again to the left. Why not? Why not do what works? Langford right up, up the, well, off the side and then up the gut. I didn't want to push it out anymore. Tried to get right to that yellow line as fast as I could. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm down to run it again. Hopefully, we get some stamina back after that two-minute warning. And we get Langford up the middle on a power drive. It is third down. We do have Langford out. It's looking red over here, but I, I trust my run game. I trust the run game right now. That's exactly why I trust the run game. We got to keep with it. That's like true Bears football, right? Good defense. Good defense and a good run game. I mean, they had Forte for so many years, and obviously Walter Payton. Um, different era, but they were definitely a run first team when he was around. Matt Forte carried the team for a while, but he was more of a screen back. Oh, look at Langford. Look at Langford go. That looked like a loss at first, and then he just kept moving the feet. Second and goal from the seven, a minute and a half left in the half. Love Eddie Royal over the middle just because he's super fast. Let's get Howard going out on a screen, maybe. Oh, they blitzed. They blitzed Eddie Royal was open. Oh, man. That was my moment. That was my moment for a passing touchdown. Didn't seem to happen. It's all right. We could, we could get something going here still. All right. Let's go with the slip screen in this close. Third and goal. It's always hard to score in this close. But we got Joyke Bell running the route. Oh, please break a tackle, Joyke. Unfortunately, we're going to be down at the three. We gained some yards, just not enough to get to pay dirt. Um, I'm going to be conservative here and take the three because every point matters at this at this juncture. All right, here we go. Coming out first and ten. We're coming out in a zone because I think they're going to be aggressive here. They might run it, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be aggressive. McPhee's in. I rocked Brock Osweiler there. I'm surprised they didn't call roughing the passer. I absolutely demolished him. Uh, but he did find Wilson out on the right side for a first down. And he got out of bounds. So a minute and two left. And we're going to come out in a zone again. And uh, I'm actually going to guess pass. If they draw here, this could get a little bit ugly. Oh, wow. I tried to hit stick him and he just <laughs> completely whiffed on the hit stick uh they call the timeouts so or they're definitely trying to get some points before the end of the half here no mistaking that let's go man and then cover two where these guys the safeties are in a zone over the top uh we might need to switch to man coverage here just because they're kind of burning us on uh zone i was like man covered oh stripped it go baby huge strip huge strip i was man coverage on him i just couldn't close the gap enough but once i got there it stripped the ball and we actually recover houston is unsettled right now in the in the crowd 48 seconds we could do this there's a booth review though it is under two minutes so 
Ah, his knee was so down. That's not even close. Oh, they are going to keep the ball. It is bang bang actually. The ball does start coming out right when the knee hits, but the knee does hit, so it's gonna it's gonna be Houston ball. I gotta turn off that stupid notification. Maybe I'll do that at half if I remember. McPhee coming in on the edge. He's in. I'm right there. I'm right there, baby. Nothing. He actually lost it. No, he gained a yard. He gained a yard. All right, McPhee off the edge again. I really need to get some pressure on Brock because he seems to have all day back there. Nice hit. That's what we got to do. Their receivers seem to be burning our cornerbacks a little bit. Uh, to be honest, I think cornerbacks might be one of our weak points. And uh, there's so many good receivers on the... Well, I guess two. Fuller, Will Fuller and uh, DeAndre Hopkins. A hold? I think that's a hold. That should be coming back. That was a nice catch, but it's not going to count. But, yeah, I think that's one of our weak our weak points in the defense is our cornerbacks. Holding on the offense is going to push him back, maybe even out of field goal range. It's going to be close now. Third and 19. Really, really need to play some solid defense here and not give up a ton of yardage. There's the ton of yardage that I was scared about, and that's an amazing catch. He got both feet down. Yeah, they seem to be burning our cornerbacks. Now, I'm a little worried about the speed threshold thing and that the fact that their, run, their uh, wide receivers are way faster than our corners and that they'll burn us basically every time as long as we give them enough time. Man. All right, well, time is ticking for sure. They came out in the five wide there, down to 20 seconds. They might just be... No, they're definitely going to take another chance at the end zone. Just go in his own. Let's try to cover every every uh, facet here. Huge pick in the end zone, baby. Let's go. Tracy Porter, the once Saint hero in the divisional game against the Vikings. Also in the Super Bowl. I think it was, I can't remember. It was The pick six was either in the Super Bowl or the divisional game. Tracy Porter goes up over freaking Will. No, that was Miller, actually. That wasn't That wasn't uh, Will Fuller. Um, all right. Well, I mean, there's not enough time, but we can always just, you know, heave one up because why not? Let's actually go play action here just because they may, maybe they'll just play a conservative D and we could hit Alshon deep or something. Ah, threw a pick. That's going to be on the stat sheet as a pick. Uh, well, it's all right. No big deal. All right, guys. Coming out in the third quarter. Down four points, but uh, it's just been a good defensive battle. And there's actually been some timely turnovers. Um, so let's continue what we know. And that's the run game right now. That is what's working. And we got to stick with it. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm kind of just repeating this. So I keep running run plays because... It got us all the way down the field last drive, and it was uh, really, really good. Really unfortunate there. We bounced into our offensive line and actually came up short of the first down when that was looked like an easy first down, and we just couldn't grab it. Um, also turned off the pop-up notifications from Xbox, and if you guys have noticed, I, I found out a way to turn off, like, uh, you know, the drive goals and stuff. Nice hit, or nice lower of your shoulders. Bad hit, I should say. Um... Yeah, I turned off, like, the little XP markers that popped up every time after a play. They just looked really terrible. Also, like, the top left, it would be like, oh, drive goal. Get, like, five yards with this guy. Like, uh, yeah, that might be... Oh, shit, let's go. Another... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Late flag there. Illegal block in the back. Really? Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, I did move the playoff sliders or, or playoff. What the hell? I did move the uh, penalty sliders around a little bit um, just because like a lot of penalties don't get called and I would like a little bit more to be called. Zach Miller, set that block, Alshon. What are you doing, bud? You too diva of a wide receiver to set a block, man? Come on. That would have been That would have been a great play. That would have been a first down for sure if Alshon set the block. Zach Miller was off on the uh, sideline there and running. Going to try a screen here. It's red, but hopefully... Oh, go Langford. 
I was going to say, hopefully he can outrun Cushing, but he kind of didn't. I mean, third and four, we gained two yards there. Uh, definitely a first down viable here. Third and manageable. Eddie Royal's our main guy, but we have Zach Miller going up the seam as well. There's Eddie Royal. They kind of really played some conservative D there. Uh, easily gave me the first down. Continuing the drive, which is what we want. Again, back to the run game. But yeah, I was just trying to clean up all the UI stuff and making this series as clean as possible. Oh, let's go, Langford. Oh, I tried to juke back inside. He did, but the animation kind of got held up there. See, this is what I like to see, man. Look at those stats. Those are so much more realistic. Granted, these quarters are going to be longer. And hopefully the video is not too choppy. Or maybe it's just not choppy at all and just super long. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it just yet. Go, Howard. Go, baby. Nice run. Nice catch and run, man. I threw on the brakes because I wanted the block to be set. Sometimes that can come back and bite you when you throw on the brakes like that. I just, I really wanted that block to be set. So, I mean, the deep ball is, like, completely gone right now. Hopefully, we can hit Miller on the outside. That QB accuracy slider is definitely really scary, though. All this underneath crap is junk, but it's needed. Alshon Jeffrey getting close to that first down marker. This uh, slow but steady drive right now. I like it. I like it a lot. We're going to a halfback stretch again. I saw a typo there. That B was lowercase, which is super weird. All right, Howard is in. The rookie. The rookie, and that got blown up. The offensive line collapsed. Uh, that's all right, though. The run game's been working really well, so one blown up run, not a big deal. All right, see if we can get a play action going. Hopefully, they'll bite and leave Miller alone so we can hit him with the uh, first down strike. I'll get Royal on the fly route in case he beats him off the edge. Oh, he almost caught it off the, the cornerback's hands. But here's where longer quarters are good. I mean, at this point, I would have had to go for it. But, I mean, it is a minute and 15 left in the third. We still have the whole fourth quarter. I think it's a no-brainer to try to kick a field goal. Here, I shanked it. Oh, God, no, I didn't. Oh, my Lord. I, I played that really poorly. I hit it at the worst time. But we're within one point. All right, here we go, guys. Coming out in the full-blown full, full blown blitz here. I'm, I'm banking on them running. And they did run, but it's to the outside, and he burned him. Wow, that was a little scary. Speed threshold can get a little ugly when the someone like Lamar Miller is on the outside. But we did tackle him. Uh, so I sent the blitz up the middle, and he ran to the outside. We had one chance at him, and he broke the tackle. Or juked around him, I should say. Uh, they'll probably go back to the run here, to be honest. Watch the screen. All right, I'll watch the screen. Come on, McPhee, get in, man. Oh, pick that, son. What are you doing? He ran back to it perfectly, and he just didn't put his hands up. All right, one-point game, boys. Third and eight. Huge down right here. I can't express that enough. This is a huge down. Okay, so that was really good. We had a linebacker covering their halfback on the uh, flat there, and he just got t tied up in the uh, offensive-defensive line battle. So I manually went over to him. I think that's where Brock was looking. It was third and short, so we blew it up, though. Nice play. All right, here we go, guys. Coming out on the field, first and 10, and I'm going with a little bit of a risky deep pass play here, but... Oh, I thought I had him in the slot. Oh, man, it is so risky. It feels risky throwing just with that accuracy, man. It's It might be a little too low. I might have to boost it a little bit. Because Jay Cutler is not a real bad quarterback, accuracy-wise. I mean, he makes his mistakes, believe me. I know. Um, but he's more of a... The problem is more his leadership role is just not there. It's un, non-existent as a qu quarterback in the NFL. You should be a leader, and he's just not. Um, but, I mean, his, his skills aren't the worst. He does throw a lot of picks, but... He should feel a little bit more accurate than he does right now, I think, personally. All right, let's get let's get a wide trail going. Third and five. Just awkward yardage right now. We really need to pick this up. Nice, Zach. Went with the short hands there, Zach Miller. Um, really good grab. I did a bullet pass, too, just to get it in there as fast as possible. 
All right, coming out in another aggressive four verticals play. Um, we'll see what they give us. If they don't give us anything, we could always throw it away. Saw it. Saw it all day. Alshon, no. No. Come on, man. Offensive hole. <gasps> 15. 15 more yards, baby. Let's go. That's a huge play right there. That is a huge play. All right, they are giving me a ton of pass plays. I mean, there's five and a half minutes left. We don't have to be that urgent. Let's go back to the ground game. Some good passes right there. Alshon Jeffrey, huge catch. All right, Langford, not a bad run. Gain three yards. That's what happens when you go to the uh, two yards. That's what happens when you go to the outside. Sometimes the longer runs does not actually get you that many yards. Let's try to go right up the middle here. Oh, man. This is a good game. Stressful, but good game. Good blocking, boys. Good blocking. Let's go. Great run, Langford. Big first down. All right, this is a weak side run. I'm a little nervous about it, but hopefully it works out. I'm going outside. Up the middle. All right. Decent run. Got four yards there. Not bad. Second and six. Like, those are realistic stats, man. 16 runs, 85 yards, five yards of carry. Like, those, that's good. I really like that. All right, another run play here. We're going with Howard this time, the rookie. Every time we bring in the rookie, it seems like our offensive line collapses. I don't know if it's because they're tired or what. But, um, okay, this might be crazy conservative, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to run here. Uh, I don't have high, high hopes for the run. Although that, that side of the D is looking pretty weak. Oh, my God, dude. Just get out of the way. Get out of the way. That's all right. This is going to give us the lead, man. I mean, three field goals is not pretty by any stretch of the imagination, but it is what it is. If you just play smart, you can get the lead. All right, should be good. I mean, I left a ton of time on the clock, but I, enough time to rebuttal if they do score. But our defense has been playing so well, I figured why not. I really like the... the um, commentary in this game it's really good they did a really good job with it i don't know if it's fifa levels of commentary but it's way better than the, what they had for sure uh all right that short pass got him out of bounds three yard gain i came over and i don't know said some nonsense to that dude uh get him off his game a little bit we're going man coverage here drop back uh drop back in the zone which i'll do manually he just threw it wild Brock, that's usually what he does. He throws it fast and to the ground for some reason. Um, again, we'll come out in the cover too, man. I did like the play we just ran. I just couldn't find it. All right, McPhee is going to be at the corner here. I went for the tackle to try to jar the ball loose, and my guy just jumped in front of it. Oh, that was not good. That that was our moment, dude. The third down. The third down conversions really hurt. Really, really hurt. 13 for 22. All right. Jeez, he is throwing absolute dimes. Throwing absolute dimes to someone like DeAndre Hopkins who's not going to drop the ball. Oh, that's quite frustrating. You might have wondered what I was doing with McPhee there. I was kind of like hoping that, I mean, I thought Lamar Miller was going to bounce out for like one of those late routes. So I was going to try to jump that. Just trying to make a play. That was that hard count almost got me. Nice. Nice. Overthrew him. I like to see more overthrows and just like bad throws because not every pass in the NFL is a dime um, On both sides of the ball like on the on the computer side of the ball and on my side of the ball I do like the more inaccurate passing everything is not so automatic So two-minute warning uh, they might go to the run game here. I Just I pushed that was That was risky. I pushed all my guys to the right because they were obviously strong on the right side, but they ended up l running to the left. Please! Yes, he dropped it. Thank God. I don't even know who that was. All right, fourth and ten. Huge drop right there by the Texans. They're going to come out and try to kick a field goal. I will ice them or try to ice them. I don't really know how this works still. 
Um, but we're just going to call a timeout, and uh, hopefully it does something. Makes that, that kick a little more difficult to hit, because if they do hit this, they're back in the lead with a minute and 40 to go. It's short. It was short. The accuracy was there. But Nick Novak goes short on the kick. All right. I mean, they do have three timeouts, so this game isn't over. This game isn't over. It's over with like a first down or two, though. See if we can get this guy in motion, go to the, the strong side of the line. Langford, look at him go. Look at him go, baby. Blew their timeout right away. We got the first down. Again, not over quite yet, but a uh, couple more good runs and it will be over. Just tried to protect the ball there. We are going to be trying to chew this clock up. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to run and then we're going to punt the ball away. Oh, Joik. Oh, he ended it. Joik's on you, baby. Joik is on you. He just ended the game right there. Huge run. I audibled last second to the left side because I saw how weak they were over there. And it ended up working out. Um, we can get in the victory formation, but might as well run the ball one more time. Give it to Langford. Are you kidding? What is this? What was that? That was so scary. All right. Well, the game is... Not quite over, but we just come out in victory formation. I don't know why they keep telling me to run a play. Can we not? That was terrifying. Clock management. Clock management. Where are you at? What? QB Neal. Spike? What is happening? Why is that so difficult to get to? Either way, the time clock and the game clock are so close. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. So we're just going to call play here. Victory formation. And the Chicago Bears are 1-0. A hard-fought game against Houston in Houston. Very big win. Cutler didn't do too bad. He didn't make the worst mistakes. That was that game is all credited to our run game and our defense. And uh, our offensive line played really well, too, to make the run game open up a bit. And as you see there, there's the box score. Texans came out and scored in the first quarter. And three field goals for three quarters with the Chicago Bears beating the Texans by two points. Uh, that was a really fun, entertaining game. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, feel free to leave me a like. It does help me out until next time. Stay safe, stay up. Peace out.